everyone, this is David Twigger back with Twigger Time Tidbits and we are at TV Tuesday, which everybody loves. It was so successful last week, so obviously we're going to do it again. A big shout out to Leslie Jordan who inspired me to do these videos amongst the other ones that we've been doing. That's just lighthearted and fun. Uh, I did do my hair today, so it's a little bit better. <laughs> but still just in the raw and waiting to, to have some fun with you guys. So we're going to go back to TV Tuesdays and talk about three pieces today. Uh, last week was so successful. A lot of people posted about they watched the big flower fight and really enjoyed it and passed it on. So we ended up sharing a lot of love and energy and, and happiness, which is great. And we're going to go back to a British show. But because the TV and where everything's at, we're going to start with a documentary today. And we're going to start with a documentary on Clive Davis. Now, a lot of you young ones out there have no idea who he is. The older ones may remember who he is, but he's one of the most famous music producers ever. And he randomly started at Woodstock. He went, uh, he wasn't supposed to go, they ended up going, and he ended up signing Janis Joplin to a record label that day. And it goes on from there, and the list of names is insane. We stood for everything I wanted to be, if I was going to be successful. Look, deep down, we all wanted to be Clive Davis. Simon Cowell, you He's know. But Aretha Franklin. Franklin. The one, the only, Mr. Clive but listen to this list of names. I mean, that's just like a small list of the people that he worked with and kind of made happen. So it was crazy as far as the amount of people that he did. It's really interesting and it's obviously filled with really great music. So it's fun, fun to watch. Um, for those of you who like older music, if you're not my age, then you'll, you'll really dig it. And those of you who are my age, are just taking down memory lane. And it's great to see that how he worked and how he opened doors for certain people and how he was very, very inclusive of all kinds of music, which a lot of people weren't at the time. And he's like, we need to do country. We need to do R&B. We need to do pop and dance and you know rock and roll and all of this. So enjoy the wine for Clive Davis. And since we're here in Netflix town, which is where I believe this one is, we're going to go to the Umbrella Factory. Now, this is a serious show, uh, high energy. There's some violence and some nudity in it, so you may not want to watch this with the kids or at least watch it a little bit beforehand and check it out. It's on the second season right now, and hopefully um, it's not on the one that I wanted, but we're gonna look real quick. Um, it's very poignant to what's going on these days. So season three of episode, season two, episode three, starts off in the 60s in Dallas, and it's hard to watch to see that this is actually used to happen not so long ago right here with us. So the strong black women that they show are everything to me, and they really did a beautiful way of working this message in, along with the story of these six kids who were raised by this eccentric millionaire, and they were born with special powers, and they're all trying to figure out what to do, and of course save the world, which is always what superheroes try and do. So it's a lot of fun, it's well done. Season two was off to a great, great start. The first season was a little whiny for me, but you know, go ahead and enjoy it because you get to know the characters and such. And the second season is great, 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 great. The, 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 the evil lady who's in it is just amazing and her outfits are everything. So make sure you watch The Umbrella Academy on Netflix, but again, watch it before you let the kids watch with you just in case, because you never really know. Um, and then for the third show, real quick, we're going to jump back to British, Britain's Best Bakery. She found it. Okay. Uh, she's being very difficult earlier, so I just wasn't sure if she did. I think she's going to find it. And she did. It's great. Uh, and it's on the right one. So this is Britain's Best Bakery. Now, we all, a lot of us who watch the cooking shows and stuff like this know the Great British Baking Show. It has Paul Hollywood in it. Uh, so this one's not as well known, but I love this because they travel all over Britain to the little teeny bakeries and these little teeny towns. So you get to know all of these small towns all throughout England and it's brilliant. It's beautiful. Um, the, the fun, 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 uh, scenery that they show you, you get to know these towns. I started making a list and I really just wanted to start, let's see if I can get it back there a little bit. Uh, to do a bakery tour of England. So whoever's on board, let me know, and we are going to do that. The cutest little ladies. 
um, baking. There's Italian and French bakeries, which is great and it's so much fun. So it's really great baking and a lot of fun to watch. And again, you get to go through these small towns and enjoy the scenery. So again, it's on this man's bakery. And again, watch. See, it just starts off with like that shot and these shots of these small towns. It's beautiful. So make sure you find it. It's on IMBDD, IMBD TV. So that's like one of the apps you'll have to find it. Uh, but try and find it definitely. If you were enjoying the big flower fight, you're gonna love this. Uh, just sit back and enjoy. Have some wine, of course. And enjoy the scenery. And dream about making that bakery tour, which we can all do together as soon as we're allowed to head out and travel. Thank you so much for joining this little TV Tuesdays. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, enjoy that. If you guys have some shows that you love, make sure you comment on the feeds, on all the social media. You can find these on my YouTube channel for Vermilion Events, or you can do it on the uh, Instagram or Facebook channels, obviously. I'll try and put out all those. But if there's some shows that you love, let me know and we'll talk about them. And we're going to have a few special guests maybe later on, which is wonderful. And I appreciate you coming at me and watching and stay safe, stay well, and I love you all. Thanks so much. Bye.